Hey guys, Scott here, and I uh, want to thank you first of all for coming by to check out this video. Uh, I'm really excited about the Digital Business Lounge these days. It's uh, It's got some features that are still in beta, but uh, Stuart and the guys at DBL have really been uh, pressing the envelope to provide more and more value through the Digital Business Lounge. And so I want to begin a series of videos highlighting some of the features found here in the DBL and I want to start with the your tube player tool um, as a some somewhat of a web developer uh, not uh, that's not my profession but as an affiliate marketer as a marketing uh, consultant I do build quite a few websites and uh, in doing so I embed video in many of my sites to educate my customers and my prospects on various aspects of digital marketing. The YouTube, the YourTube player uh, allows me to make certain code modifications to the embed code depending on what, what I want to uh, have displayed on my website. Uh, and so I'll get into some of that as I demonstrate the YourTube player. So let's jump in here. Uh, it's found here at the main dashboard by going to tools, click the drop down, and you'll go to your tube player, which I've already done. Uh, there is a WordPress plugin that you can download for the your tube player as well. I'm just simply going to open the tool here and not use the plugin. And all I'm going to do, uh, well, first I'm going to explain some of these options. Uh, you know, when you uh, when you embed a YouTube video you're going to see by default uh, from the embed code that's generated by YouTube itself and let me explain what I mean by that I've got a video here if I go to share this you'll see right here I can uh, elect to embed that iframe code and uh, there are some options and they're very limited that YouTube gives me uh, that will change this uh, or adjust this embed code depending upon what I tell it. So maybe I don't want somebody to see the video title uh, so I can turn that off and YouTube will adjust that code. Uh, maybe I don't want it to show the suggested videos when it finishes. Again, it adjusts that code and uh, that is one way to get your embed code. What I like about the YourTube player is that it gives me a little bit more control uh, for things like modest branding, which, uh, by the way, is uh, when you embed a YouTube video on a website, you'll always see, uh, at least if you use YouTube's default embed code, you'll see a YouTube logo down here that the, that the visitor can then click on to watch the video on YouTube itself, which means they would be leaving your website. Uh, modest branding, for example, turns that off. Also, you'll notice here in the embed code that I can turn off the video title and player actions. Um, again, by default, if, if that box is checked, there will be displayed on the video the title as well of that video. And the user can also click on that to watch that video over on YouTube again. They would be leaving your site. So, um, now, YouTube disallows turning off both info, or that is the title, and using modest branding, which is what turns off the YouTube logo down here. Uh, it will allow you to turn off one or the other, but not both. So I'm going to show you over in the your, in the your Tube player uh, how we can make some of these changes to the video, as among other things. Uh, so first, I'm going to copy this this video URL over in uh, YouTube and I'm going to paste it right here. Okay, um, now here's what I was talking about. Um, I'll get to it in just a second. I'll just go in order here so I don't confuse you. Autoplay, that just means when the when the person lands on the page uh, the video will automatically start playing. In this case I'm going to embed this video in a blog post and I don't want to do that. I want to give the user the option to uh, start the video whenever they like. Nope. And 
let me just pause the video. There's a preview pane here in the in the bottom uh, of the interface as well as the iframe and bed code window here. Um, <clears throat> so I can adjust the dimensions. Uh, you know, I'm using the Divi theme builder. And so what I've got open right now here in another browser window are the uh, ideal image sizes. And these are applicable also to video sizes for the Divi builder. And I happen to be embedding this video in a half column size. So I'm going to size this at 510 pixels wide in the your tube player i'm going to sh set the uh, controls to not show the info and i'm also going to use modest branding i'm going to keep my quality at high i don't want the video to loop i will allow uh, controls to be shown um, all right i think that's going to do it and i want to disable the YouTube link. Now you'll notice when I do that, that modest branding was just then uh, defaulted back to a no option. So this is where, where I was talking about the fact that YouTube disallows uh, disabling the YouTube link uh, and modest branding. So I'm going to turn back on modest branding. You'll see here then that it, uh, the, the disable YouTube link now is displayed as no. Uh, okay, so there are a few other features here in terms of styling that I can apply. So uh, let's get into those. Let's enable the styling options. And right here you'll see a background color. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and change that to a purple color that's part of my branding. I'm going <clears> to <throat> put a title in there just so you can see where this shows up okay and I'm gonna update that and you'll see then that that color was applied to the background and the title text of lead generation was inserted right here okay so in this case however I'm going to uh, I'm going to turn off the styling options I don't really need those you can also adjust sharing options as well so if you want to uh, you know allow folks to put it out there on Facebook or Twitter um, you can set all that stuff up here all right so for now I'm gonna turn off enable sharing options and so now that I've uh, set all these player options up the tool has now um, created this script for me this iframe embed code that I can then go use on my WordPress site so let me show you what that looks like I've got a blog post started over here in my WordPress environment and I've got a code module here I'm gonna paste that embed code into that code module I'm going to save, update, and then, then I'm going to view this post in a new window, or in a new tab, excuse me. And right here you'll see that the video has been embedded. Thanks for coming by and checking out this video. Look for the next one uh, in another blog post. See you soon.